this little thing i have to stop touching it i'm gonna just do a really quick what i do for my makeup the most simplest thing ever. i don't think i can even call it a makeup routine i know it's like really random for what i eat but we're just gonna do it anyways i just start off with the foundation and then I do concealer and normally I don't like to put the concealer on my forehead But I'm just gonna do it for today. I just make three lines I don't know I don't if that know makes that a difference. difference. I just like pat it with this. I rarely do my makeup at my desk But for this video, I'm gonna do it because normally I stand at my mirror and do it But there's no place to put my camera. I've been using this blush that I got from AF94 I actually really like the color of this blush so when I put on my blush. I kind of like create this little line and then after I do that, this is really ironic, but I put concealer to get rid of my under eye bags, but also I like to make under eye bags, but like also it's not under eye bags. Basically what I do is I take this random brush, I get a little of the color and then I put it under my eyes. Okay, and then after I just curl my lashes, I use two mascaras. They're the same, but one is like more drier than the other. And I use the wetter one second. Sometimes I'll use this bronzer, put a little right here. Also, normally I use a different lip balm. Honestly, I kind of switch. I use the coconut from Glossier. I also like using the Laneige. Right now, I'm just going to use the lavenderbalm.com that I always use at night. It's a Sunday today. It's honestly really nice weather. I am loving this weather. It is spring, so some days it's raining and cold, and some days it's like low 70s. And probably... I'm going very simple white jeans that I got from a vintage market. These were five dollars, guys. I'm pretty sure I was eating hot pot in these and I got the soup on it. Kind of unfortunate, but maybe I'm gonna have to bleach it. For my top, I'm gonna do this tank top. It's so cute. My socks are an important part of this fit because look at these pom pom perin socks. They're so adorable. I love Sanrio, as you can see.
got a Nutella Taiyaki. Oh, nice. I'll eat this later. Ow! <gasps> I am eating a burrito right now. I'm pretty sure it's a shrimp burrito and I'm putting this up. Whoa, whoa, I'm putting this salsa on it. It is currently 1.46 p.m. I look like I just woke up, because I did. For the past few days, my sleep schedule has not been worse, but we're gonna get it together because also I just need to push through these last two months of school. I love a good burrito. I've been trying to drink one cup of green juice every morning because I did find that it helped with my bloating. I literally measure it out too. And I just put it in this little cup, one cup of water. This is the one I use. It's the Sunwink Detox Green. I just keep a teaspoon thing in here. I put two teaspoons of this. Okay, my bad. I don't know why I did that, but basically I keep it in here first. I'm just gonna pour this in here. I'm just gonna chug this. Cheers. Also, I'm eating some grapes right now. I'm pretty sure these are cotton candy grapes. I feel like I'm always forgetting to film something when I get it. I got five taiyakis. These are so good. There's only one in here left. So good though. There was five in here. I ate two of these. Right now, I'm making some dinner. It's actually like 11 p.m. <laughs> Okay, so I totally forgot that I had a smoothie era back in 2020 and 2021 because I used to watch Twin Coast on TikTok so much and I wanted a Vitamix so bad. And I realized I haven't put the Vitamix to use in a while. So here's me making a smoothie bowl. This one was delicious and I definitely want to start the smoothie era again and incorporate dragon fruits more. So I'm currently making this smoothie. I honestly don't really know what I'm doing since I don't have any type of milk to blend this with. I did find this coconut cream. I put dragon fruit in here and then some like tropical fruit. This is frozen dragon fruit, a little bit of tropical fruit. I found some coconut cream, put that in there. The color is so pretty. I topped it with some granola. I'm gonna eat this. I am so tired. I am so tired.
This is actually perfectly toasted. This is not ideal. It's supposed to look prettier than this, but I burned it. So I just took off all the burnt parts. We have a sausage thing here. Two eggs scrambled. <laughs> Sophie's so big. The next part, I'm making this little stir fry thing. I was listening to it and I was like, is with some like was the TV playing? No, like I sound like a muffled news reporter in the next clip. I'm pretty sure I was just covering the mic, but I literally sound like I'm a news reporter, but it's like really muffled. You cannot hear me at all. Mushrooms, these mini bell peppers. <laughs> I also made this smoothie to satisfy my sweet craving. I put strawberries, bananas, lychee, yogurt. And the yogurt was like plain and unsweetened, so that's good. Also though, it messed up my stomach low key because it's like dairy, but presentation is definitely not there. I low key wish there were potatoes in here. I'm currently in bed. I'm like really tired. My dad and my sister went to Taiwan. They brought home a bunch of snacks, which is super exciting. So we have chia seed spirulina and spring onion cracker. And then we have this. This is kind of like a trail mix, but little random crackers. I love these though. These are actually so good. So a lot of this video was filmed while I was still in school and I was super busy at the end of the semester. But once summer started, I went to SoCal for a few days. So a little sneak peek of the next video, of course. I had a lot of random foods and this is just two clips, but I love a good bowl from Sweet Green. Oh. Ah. Where'd my bread go? Oh, no. And is it really a road trip without Starbucks? That was the video and I'm so excited for the next one.